Hey, what's up guys? I'm back here to give you the Vesper shape of NF3. First thing we need to do is draw the Lewis structure. We've got an N in the center and three Fs connected to it. Drawing the Lewis structure here, we're going to need seven electrons per fluorine. That's 21 just from fluorines. Nitrogen brings five. That gives me a total of 26. I've already got 2, 4, 6 here, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and I have two extra electrons I need to put somewhere. Luckily for me, my nitrogen doesn't have a full octet, so there we go. This is the finished Lewis structure. Each of the formal charges on each of the atoms is zero, and here we are. How many atoms are connected to the N? We have three atoms connected to the N and one lone pair on the N. This here is the Vesper notation, but what really matters to me is the fact that we have three atoms and one lone pair. When you have three atoms, one lone pair, the shape that you want to attribute to it is called trigonal, pier -o, trigonal pyramidal. And let me draw you the 3D structure just to show you how it's actually shaped. We've got our N in the center, our lone pair sitting there, and a fluorine sticking out. Now, three-dimensionally, you have an F that's also pointed out towards you, and another F that's pointed away from you. What you've got is kind of like a tripod, kind of like these three things that I have in my hands here. Here's the first fluorine, kind of in the plane of the page, still flat against the screen. One of them that was pointed out towards you, and the other one is pointed away from you. This is the shape of the molecule, and that's why it's called trigonal pyramidal, because it's a triangular-based pyramid. The bond angle in between these, well, normally, for something like this, if there was another fluorine up here, you would be 109.5. That's a tetrahedral shape. Because you have a lone pair, it ends up pushing the fluorines together slightly more. The bond angle in a trigonal pyramidal is generally 107 degrees. So there you have it. And H3 is the same, and I3, and Cl3, and Br3. Anything that's Ax3e, or three atoms, one lone pair is trigonal pyramidal. This is the geometric shape in 3D. The bond angle should be about 107. Hey, good luck, guys.